before we get into the video, I just wanted to apologize for last night. I was like extremely whiny in that one, but you have to understand, dude, my rat phobia was taken over. I could not stand how much I was like dying to BS in that video. But anyways, yeah, watching it back, I was like, oh my god, dude, I was whining like crazy at that boss fight. But anyways, here we are today. Uh, right now we are in Harvest Valley, and I've already ran through this area a couple times. I'm kind of, I'm not necessarily stuck on the boss. I'm stuck on like all the stuff that comes before it because on the way there, I mean, as you can see right now, like I'm poisoned and I don't have any of the green moss clumps in order to cure my poison before I go in. So I keep going in and I'm effectively just dying to my poison. Yeah, look at that. Like my health bar is basically all the way down by the time I get in here. But anyway, I don't really even, I don't even know this guy's moveset because this is the first time that I've been in here for longer than five seconds before dying to poison. So I'm going to try to figure this guy out. I've seen many memes about this guy. So I have a feeling he's pretty easy. Dude, there is no way that this is literally all the bosses. He'll just that like is this eight does he literally just jump around the arena the whole time well i mean easy victory then i guess i mean hey at least he put up more of a fight than pinwheel oh my god i almost forgot i forgot to do the entire recap section well anyway i ended up killing two bosses the skeleton lords and the last center or the lost center whatever his name is over at the uh, lost Bastel. i forget which order i did them in but i'll put the clips up on screen now for you guys I had also visited the gutter. I don't think I actually ended up capturing that footage, but man, I do uh, I do not want to go back there. I hope that that area is optional because it, it's literally like the Blight Town of this game. And while Blight Town wasn't that bad in Dark Souls 1, at least I didn't have that much trouble with it, I hate the gutter. The, that area is terrible. By the way, thank you guys so much for all the positive comments and messages and stuff like that. Uh, I put up like a community post the other day just kind of saying that I felt like utter crap and then I kind of mentioned it in yesterday's video. In fact, you know, that's part of why I really- Oh my god, wow. This this area really does just suck that much fucking ass. So that's why yesterday's video was a lot shorter just because I was feeling like absolute crap, but today I feel a lot better. So thank you guys for like the like, get well wishes and stuff like that. Alright, since the game won't let me speed run it, I guess I gotta go slow and kill the 5,000 enemies I was trying to spam me with. I'm sorry. As much as I'm starting to like this game and as much as it's starting to grow on me, god damn, does the Scholar of the First Sin enemy spam really suck. I'll never understand why Dark Souls 2 Redditors and other people on, thorum, th on forum threads try to be like, oh yeah, Scholar of the First Sin's the way to go, man. The enemy uh, is so much better. No, no, no. There's definitely way less enemy spam in Dark Souls 2 Vanilla, so I highly recommend, like, if you've played Scholar of the First Sin before but you haven't played Vanilla and you weren't too hot on Dark Souls 2, Maybe give vanilla a shot. If the enemy spam was your problem, then I can highly recommend vanilla because it's definitely not as much of an issue there. That statement was just an opinion based off of my experiences with both games. If you feel differently, that is okay. I just ask that all of the 12-year-old virgin redditors watching this, please do not spam the comments and please don't be toxic. You don't need to explain why I'm wrong because I literally don't care. So thank you. I mean, don't get me wrong. That version of the game is not perfect by any stretch, like not even close, but like I've been playing it through in my off time and it's, it's a lot better in terms of that. Like, wait, like, what What the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, I, I didn't even get to move. I was stun locked. I don't know if you guys noticed, but look, we can actually roll that one. I don't look like a drunk turtle every time I roll around. We got my uh, equip load down to under 70%. I had to get my vitality up, like, way past level 20 or something like that in order to be able to do that. And I won't be able to actually rock any, you know, good armor throughout this playthrough, but it is what it is. I always look up online what each boss soul does before I go ahead and, like, cash it in for souls or whatever. And the one that we got earlier from uh, killing the lost sinner or the last sinner apparently he gives you like a great sword or that soul gives you a great sword is that any good should i just stick to the one that i have or would it be worth actually investing in trying to get that one made oh no i see a white mist out there dog i <laughs> i should have listened to the comments earlier i was saying something a couple videos ago about how this game really didn't have that many bosses but oh my god was i wrong if there is a boss behind that white mist that will make the third boss that i've come across in one hour that is actually kind of crazy entering the mist please don't be a boss 
Oh no, it's just a bonfire, okay. <laughs> I'll take a bonfire, trust me. I know I've told some of you guys about it in the comments, like when I've been replying to you guys, but I don't know if I've actually mentioned it on video yet. Basically, I went through a couple days ago and looked at all of like the, because a lot of you guys leave me like really long, like article sized freaking comments and it, trust me, I'm not complaining. I love having those. The more tips, the better. But basically, I've been going through and I take like all the notes that I can off of those and I put it into like the notes app on my phone. Dude, that thing is looking like a whole PowerPoint presentation right now. Dog, I can't wait to get out of this area. I'm sick of being poisoned and fucking... Oh my god. Dark Souls is the only game where a two-foot drop will fucking kill you. It's official. I hate this area and I hate it with a passion. I want to be out of here. Even though I have a massive rat phobia and I hated the Grave of Saints, I honestly think I liked that area more than whatever this piece of shit area is. As if they didn't learn their lesson from the first game. Like, hey, yeah, let's make a whole area that's based around freaking poison. Like, light town they're like hey you know what you know that one area that, like nobody liked from the first game let's do that again oh yes i love being poisoned and then stabbed in the back by fucking mummies while swimming in like poison water up to my goddamn stomach dude i cannot with this game i saw another white mist behind those mummies with the spears oh my god no you know sometimes i love this game other times it just brings me so much fucking pain that i want to throw myself off the empire state building and land into a fucking cement truck this game is the epitome of wanting to fucking make out with a cactus and masturbate with sandpaper. In other words, it brings me nothing but pain. Until I beat a really hard boss. Then I get the dopamine hit and I feel like it's all worth it. I am so sick of these goddamn ninja fucking lizard pieces of bird dick shit. I cannot stand these guys, dude. I'm getting so sick of this area, dog. I try to walk and I'm attacked by these fucking flying... Oh. <laughs> I already have the title, thumbnail, everything in my head. Normally, I make that stuff after the video is done, but I have it done already in my head. It's going to be the worst, you know, worst being capital area in Dark Souls 2. And then the thumbnail is going to be me with that, like, cringed up, like, disgusted face. And then it's just going to be a picture of this shithole. Oh, yes, I got poisoned to death again. I went to drink my SS flask and it wouldn't let me. Dude, I can't. I'm... You know, this game kind of makes me want to shoot myself in the face. I'm going to go through, take it slow, kill all the goddamn enemies. Dog, I'm not even standing in the water and my poison meter is still going. Like, what is even happening right now? You would think in an area that... Wait, Monastery Charm cures poison and restore... I only have two of them. It's probably not a good idea. I probably should have saved it. But I mean, I don't feel like doing this run again, dude. Poison ahead, try front. Oh, dude, I'm using an effigy. I Please tell me there's a summon. Try looking for a summon, but what, there wasn't nothing. And I mean, I'm already dying to poison. Is, <laughs> is there anything I can do to, like, not get poison when I'm in here, man? Oh, my God. Th this is... I don't... I don't... I don't get it. There's literally nothing you can physically do to this boss. It'd be, like, I can't physically kill it in time before I die to poison. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna go ahead, use another effigy. Uh, I'm gonna rest in the bonfire, and then we're gonna look around and see if there is any summoning spots. Because the only thing that I can think is maybe, like, we use a summon, and then we, like, find a way to stay back somehow, and then, sh they, like, it won't be able to get us, but I don't know. Nope. I looked quite literally everywhere, and of course, there's nothing, so we just kind of gotta take this thing head on. This sucks, man. I wonder if I have- is there, like, a ring, maybe? Maybe that can make you take less poison because we have the common fruit which temporarily boosts poison resist but i need i don't know i just i need something else oh wait you know what this boss is in the water this is just me using like my science brain but like if i put on gold pine resin wouldn't the lightning in the water electrocute her therefore we might be able to kill her before she kills us all right i'm gonna throw the monastery charm there we're gonna go ahead use the gold pine resin and we're just gonna hope for the best i guess if i'm missing something here please let me know in the comments because i refuse to believe that this that this boss fight is just supposed to be like that like I didn't even get a swing in that time, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another Rage episode of Dark Souls 2. Wasn't expecting this episode to be one of those, but, uh, yeah, this area really ticked me off. <laughs> anyway, as always, shout out to the Patreons. Come with Grandma, Little Booty Tab, Big Daddy Maddie, and Desperado. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I see you guys back tomorrow at 7. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Stay beautiful and have an amazing day.